Okay, I am currently running on microgrid. I have 100 watts producing and 100 watts consuming. It was just 600 watts a moment ago. I had the air conditioner on. I turned that off. And you can see here, here's where I switched it to microgrid. I guess the circuit breaker bounced. I don't know. And then uh, it dropped down and then it powered up slowly. And then it came up to, this was the air conditioner was running. I turned the air conditioner off and this is where we're at. All right, so I'm gonna see how this performs and collect some data points. We just passed 315, so that should collect some data points here. It takes about 10 minutes to upload before you'll see it here. But I'll have the uh, boy miles data and then we'll have the end phase data. Last data point, no, that was three o'clock. So it's coming. When I get all that data, I'll let you know. But you, you gotta know things are curtailed right now and the voltage is still reading 245.8. So. Yep, yeah, so that's where I'm at, waiting for data. Okay, you can see the Hoy Miles inverter is working at this time. We only have about 115 watts coming in and it's running, so it must be throttled back. Or where's the energy the reference? Going? The sky's pretty clear right now. Okay, you see, um, it did throttle back, even though I just showed it is working. And that data point there, it throttled back to zero. Um, the end phase, on the other hand, didn't throttle back at all at that 315 data point. The end phase shows at 315 over here that it's still putting out full power or some power. So it wasn't curtailed at the moment the data point was taken. Still putting out 100 watts. Sense is still saying I'm putting out 110 watts. It's pretty flat lined. I wish this thing could measure frequency, but it can't. Um, this is the uh, current voltage. The voltage is steady. See, when it's on microgrid, it's rock solid. It's definitely not controlling power with voltage. Um, okay, so it doesn't give me frequency information. Keep you posted. All right, I've been collecting data. It's now 3.45, half an hour later. You can see the, um, the Hoy Miles inverter came back up. It's putting out 228 watts. Again, I can't really tell if it's the weather. It looks pretty, pretty sunny out there. Um, here's the end phase system. Let's refresh that page. And yeah, see like they're pretty much off. They've throttled back to zero. Haven't seen that before. That was at 330. This is at 345. So 345, they shut down. Okay. Let's see what we got on the live status. Still putting out on 
100, 200 watts. I could put my amp clamp on the battery and see if anything's going back into the battery. Let's see, the module. Let's see, the module voltage is pretty high. So it looks like it could be putting out more and it's throttled back. What was the grid voltage? See the grid voltage went up some on the microgrid. That's, it was down at 239 and then it got pushed up to 246.3. I have never seen the microgrid go that high before. So maybe it is throttling back. Well, let's see what the frequency was. Sixty point six eight. That's pretty high. So yeah, it may be throttling back due to frequency. Push the frequency up, pushed it down. I don't know. It's all a mystery to me. I wish I had a way to tell. But obviously, the Hoy Miles is providing all of the two hundred watts. Yeah, it said uh, frequency, the power frequency um, droop would start at 60.1. So 60.68, it's drooping. There you go, went from 60.3 to 60.68 and the power drooped. There you go, I think that's evidence. Um, I mean, the irradiance didn't change much during that period. You can see, see the irradiance pretty much stayed the same. All right, right there is where the um, refrigerator shut off. I went back to just the lights and the computer. And that's it. Right now it's putting out 123 watts. I hope to get a couple more data points before I take it off. All right, this is the next data point at 4.15 p.m. The grid voltage is still a little higher than it normally is. The frequency is still a little higher than it normally is. Um, we do have some clouds out there, so it's not perfect. Let's take a look at what the module is looking like. shut down we got on the 415 mark we have uh, you know, 45 50 watts something like that 45 watts Uh, 100 watts during that last data point. I just kicked the air conditioning back on because it's hot in here. See, okay, so here was that period with the air conditioner off, refrigerator turn on, refrigerator turned off. So the data point at 4 o'clock had the refrigerator on, and the data point at 4.15 didn't. And we saw the power went down between those two. power went up so gonna run a couple more data points and call it quits it seems to me that the um, one miles inverter operating in parallel with the in charge battery should work fine based on those parameters 
The N-Charge battery input range goes all the way up to 264 volts. According to the grid parameters, um, the grid profile, it says that at 254.2 um, volts, it'll start folding back or drooping the output power, and by 259.2 volts, the output power will be zero, and at 264 volts, the output will disconnect. So the microinverter is not likely to push so much voltage back to the end charge battery um, that it would damage it. I don't see, unless there's a surge, which yeah, if there's, it's a fault, that's different. But under normal circumstances, it should work fine. Um, what I think I'm seeing here is that under the current circumstances, it folded back the output by raising the voltage and the frequency slightly. Well, the voltage went up because the end phase solar PV inverter shut down because the Hoy Miles is hogging the whole load and um, there's nowhere else for it to go, but it is curtailed as well and not pushing back on the battery. So um, it looks like it's working great. Honestly, can't wait to try more. I'm gonna add a bunch to my system. See how it goes. Okay, that settles it. I turned the grid back on and had production shot all the way back up to 241.3. And the grid frequency went back down to 60.03. So prior to that, my frequency was up higher and it was curtailed back. And now I kicked on my air conditioner and the end phase inverters came back and then I kicked on the grid. And uh, there you go. The P module. Again, it curtailed, curtailed some more, curtailed some more. There, I uh, turned on my air conditioner and uh, somewhere in there, and right here it, it's back on the grid. There you go. This was air conditioner came back on, refrigerator on and off, back to the grid. See, as soon as it went back to the grid, it went up it's to export. So this was not cloud cover holding this down. This was really curtailed the whole time. Curtailed as low as 100. It was like 110, 111 watts at times. See? That was with all the inverters running. So it had to curtail. at 415 okay that's the data point at 5 p.m. down shut off a couple of times there the Hoy Miles inverter was supporting everything for half an hour and then it came up a little bit when I turned the air conditioner on and when I put it back to grid it came back up all right that's it don't forget to like and subscribe these videos take time with 15 minute intervals between data points take care have a good evening